Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have another fruit episode for you and I'm gonna be talking all about the mulberry. I love mulberry. Um, I grew up with a really large mulberry tree in my backyard. It was really fun picking them and eating them. It's just an amazing tree and so I wanted to share a bunch of information about it. It's not necessarily an exotic fruit, um, but it's a, it's a really one of my favorite fruits. And uh, so the mulberry is very common. It is native to temperate parts of North America and Asia, but it grows all over the world. It grows in places like Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, India, of course, the United States, Canada, South America, uh, Australia, uh, pretty much zones four to nine, uh, these will grow. So, and also they're very easy to grow. So a lot of people like growing them. There's one thing about them though, is the pollen can um, be very, so some people can be very sensitive to the pollen. In fact, there's some HOAs, at least here in the United States, that ban the grow uh, the growing of mulberries in backyards because the pollen can be pretty bad to some people. But as far as fruit trees go, it's one of the easier fruit trees to grow and they grow really well here in Arizona. It's a very popular fruiting tree to grow here in Arizona. They come in a couple of varieties. They come in a fruiting and a non-fruiting variety and there's so many different types of mulberries. There's white ones, there's red ones, there's black ones. Um, here is a list of uh, some of them, not all of them, but we have the, the sweet lavender, the Shangri-La, the big white, the downing, the Pakistan. The Pakistan mulberry is awesome. It's really long. It's like three uh, inches long. It's really, really cool. And it comes in like a, bl a black a Pakistani and then uh, the white Pakistani. And uh, each one of those has a little bit different flavor. Um, they all kind of taste similar, but some are way more sweet. Like the white Pakistani one is super, super, super sweet, like super sugary sweet. And then you have some that are more tart um, and some that are in between. Then there's like the Russian, the weeping mulberry, the Illinois, and the Persian. And then there's several other varieties as well. One thing that's really cool about the mulberry is for like thousands of years, they in China, they would take the bark from the mulberry tree and make paper with it. Also, the trees were grown because the silkworm would eat the leaves of the mulberry. And they are very prolific growers, like they pr produce a ton of fruit. And a lot of times if the tree is small enough, you could just shake the trunk and that the, 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 the ripe fruit will just fall right off. Pretty awesome. They do stain really easy, like the, the juice from the mulberries can stain really easy. So you need to kind of clean up right away like if you get some on your counter or if you get them on your hands you kind of want to wash it right away there's a lot of health benefits to these here are some of them they are rich in vitamins and minerals particularly vitamin c rich in antioxidants rich in plant compounds they can help lower cholesterol and help improve blood sugar also the mulberry has been used in chinese herbal med uh, herbal medicine or herbal medicine for quite a while thousands of years as well well how do you eat them very, very simple. When you pick them, they should fall right off and really pick really easy. And they should be like a dark, if they're a, a black variety, they'll be very nice and dark, black like this. If it's red, they'll all be all red. And if they're white, they'll be all right when they're ready and they'll come off really easy. And then to eat one, you just eat them raw. Like a lot of people will just eat these raw, like that. Mm. Or, what they will do is you will take them and you can make mulberry pie. Growing up, we had mulberry pie and we had mulberry jam, mulberry jelly, and they just make a wonder, wonderful, wonderful pie. And you would, you would make them pretty much like you would do like a blackberry pie, but instead of blackberries, you would use mulberries. And it's very sweet and tasty. And then you can put them in smoothies and shakes, things like that. This particular variety is a Shangri-La variety. And this came from my friend's neighbor, so the neighbor to my friends, they live across the street from my friends. They have a mulberry tree and uh, they just had a ton of mulberries and they let my friend's kids go over there and pick some. And so they gave some to me, which was really cool. And what do they taste like? So for me, they taste like a mulberry because growing up, I just ate them and that's what they were. They were a mulberry. And, but to describe the taste, 
some people think that it tastes kind of like a blackberry. Some people think that it's more like kind of like a grape, which is kind of weird. I don't think they taste like grapes. Um, to me, closer to a blackberry than a grape. And then other people would describe the flavor as kind of like the mix between a blueberry and kind of like a grapefruit. So there's a lot of different variances there to that, I know, but they range from super sweet to, to tart. And uh, to me, they just, they, they taste like a mulberry. So you just gotta try one. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed learning about the mulberry. I love mulberries, one of my favorite um, trees, uh, one of my favorite little fruits to eat. And uh, when I get a house with a yard, I'm definitely gonna be planting a couple of mulberry trees uh, in my backyard. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, press it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. I'll grab that one right there. Mmm. Mmm. Super nice and sweet. Yummy.